Welcome back to the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PlayStation 2 walkthrough. This is part 8, and this is our second day at Hogwarts. What do you think they're doing? Keeping a thing like that locked up in a school? If any dog needs exercise, that one does. You don't use your eyes, any of you, do you? Didn't you see what it was standing on? The floor? I wasn't looking at its feet. I was too busy with its heads. No, not the floor. It was standing on a trap door. It's obviously guarding something. What could possibly need such heavy protection? It's either really valuable, or really dangerous, or both. Well, it's going to have to wait. We're going to be late for charms class. Follow me, Harry. Yeah, we're going to have charms today. And that is that spell challenge. I'm not going to tell you which spell we're going to learn just yet because we haven't gone to the class. Sorry, that was my phone if you heard anything. Uh, now, the charms class is located on the second floor and we actually haven't been in second floor yet. That was strange, a little glitch. Yeah, we haven't been there yet. There's actually many places that we haven't been in the class because we haven't been exploring at all. But um, I think we might do exploring at the end of the walkthrough, as well as the exo stuff at the end. But uh, who knows, I might do it before that as well. We'll see, we'll see. I don't actually know when I will do that. I haven't planned exactly everything for this walkthrough yet, but it's not that hard to do it. And you don't have to be 100% planned all the time either. So go in to second floor. Second floor we have charms class, we have the girls toilet, we have the library and we also have some um, exploring like um, special um, special rooms and stuff with secrets in. But now we are going to go to charms. Flitwick's teaching us Fungify this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Yes, let's. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the softening charm, Spongify. Once you have managed to collect the Spongify spellbook, the Spongify charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. So now we're going into the spell challenge for Spongify. That is quite a fun spell, actually. It's probably one of um, the favorites among the Harry Potter video game fans, or Harry Potter fans in general, actually. It's quite a good spell. Most fun, though. It's not that useful, but it's useful in this game. So there's a Folia Brutai. We'll pick that up. This time it's for the fire crab. That's interesting. We have met that uh, met the fire crab before, and now we get introduced right this minute. There is a fire crab, and what you do with fire crabs is that you use the pendo and move them so that they will fall into an abyss. That's basically how you kill them. Just make them fall into an abyss. And that's think yeah. That's the only it's the only way you can kill them as well. And for killing those two, we get a golden chest, and we'll see which wizard card we get. This is going to be exciting. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's a wizard card pack, and not a wizard card. A wizard Yay. Card pack. Let's see which one, Bowman which ones we get. Cyprian Udall. Oswald Beamish. Alberta Tutir, Hengist of Woodcroft. So we get all those wizard cards and beautiful red by Stephen Fry. It's great. And we'll go up here. This is very special because you don't usually do this in spell challenges. You get the spell book quite quickly. So here it is, 
Spongify Spellbook. And we'll equip it on Circle. Spongify Spellbook! So there we have it. The only thing we have to do next is to make a way out of the spell challenges. This the spell challenge and spell challenge I can't speak. And um get back to the classroom. That's what we're supposed to do. And I'm really sorry if you can hear some background noises. It's just that um it's a very strong wind outside because I live on the country when I'm not at school that is. So yeah, it's very strong. And you can probably hear it. Oh, hopefully you can't hear it, but you might actually be able to hear it. And if you can hear it, then I'm sorry. So we're using Lumos to go inside these places to get um, um, the challenge shields, because we have to get them. As I've said before, the first time you go through the spell challenges, you can't get every uh, every challenge shield you can't get 100 percent in the challenges that is for every challenge except the last one because in the last one you get the last spell and then you pretty much have all the spells and then you can get all the challenge shields so also as i said before we'll have to return to the spell challenges that we have to return to and get the last challenge shields but that I will do at the end of the game, and not now. There's another challenge shield, that's the third one. Now we will push this crate to the wall, and we will go through this crawl space, and it's now that this challenge, this challenge really starts. So you get out of this huge area and you get attacked by ghosts. So use your Luma spell, of course, to take out the two ghosts. And then we will continue. This is a huge place. Pretty much the rest of the spell challenge, spell challenge will happen here and higher up in the room. I'm actually using my hands to show you, but you can't see, obviously. So it will happen this room and higher up as well with doors that lead out to different other rooms and tunnels yeah that's pretty much and the exit of the spell challenge and the way to this to the classroom as is at the top of this room so we have to get up there so there is spongify tile you can see all the way up there have to get up there um, yeah, use a sponge of our tile to start making your way to the top. And we're only going to have time to go through this door in this part and not anything else. Because I've got things to do, sorry about that. I've actually been like editing loads of videos lately. This is actually the third video that I'm editing today. Yes, quite a lot. I think it's the third. Actually, I think it's the second. <laughs> yeah, this is the second one. But I've done like three editing parts a day, pretty much, because I've had a long weekend from school. So I had the time to do it. So I thought I would. There we get a whistle card, which is Mungo Bonham. But that is everything for this part, guys. Hopefully you'll we'll be back for the next part when we will finish the Spongify Spell Challenge. See you then.